Okay, so you see here we have actually a version SG5 of a Ramban. The latest is SG10. Sometimes you'll actually run into a situation where your Ramban's so old that you'll update your iOS image and um, like I have here, you'll see I put on a new version, right? And this version is 3.08 and before it had 3.03 and your router may not boot. It may say bad magic number or invalid image, something along those lines. And now all of a sudden you can't boot your router. So here's how you boot it and then put the update on it and update your ROM mod so that you can boot it again. Now this uh, SG5 15.1 would actually boot the 308, but I'm just gonna show on you how you would update your ROM mod if you need to update it or want to update it to the latest version. Hopefully you always leave your old iOS or an old iOS on the switcher router before you do the reboot um, so that you have that to fall back on. So we're going to go ahead and do our boot command and we're going to say boot flash colon then I'm going to copy the old iOS image name right here and we're just going to paste that in press enter and that is going to tell it to boot that old image and this will get our uh, router back in operation or our switch I kind of use those terms <laughs> interdependently or, inter or, or you know whatever um, but this will get our switch booted back up so that we can start to work directly with the uh, iOS image to manipulate some files and get our our uh, update program utility for the Rambon installed into Flash so we'll go ahead and let this thing cook and boot up and uh, we'll be back once it's actually booted. Alright, so our switch is up and running now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enable it. And uh, now we're booted up on the old version. And we can work on getting this uh, program on here now. And uh, we can see here that we are running the 3.03 .03 on our show version. Um, so now what we got to do is copy that flash program over. So now we're going to look at our boot variable and you can see our boot variable is still set for that new image. So if we reboot right now it would try to boot that. It might not boot up if our ROM mod couldn't understand that. And the T102 config register tells us that it's going to boot according to the boot variable. So here we see our bin images again in boot flash. So what we basically want to do is copy uh, this firmware upgrade 1511R. Now you want to download the specific file for your switch or router from the Cisco support site. This is the one for the 4510 Supervisor 8 Ramon update. So what we can do now is just go ahead and copy uh, this file we're just going to copy that name so that we can paste it in when we do our uh, TFTP update okay so now we just want to make sure that we have IP connectivity I already do here but I want to show you uh, you know I had to set an IP address in VLAN 1 by default all ports are in VLAN 1 um, and then on um, my uh, PC and so here at the command prompt you can see yep I'm 10.1.1 with a 248 subnet mask and my router is 10.1.1.3 with a 248 subnet mask so we're in the same network now what we can do is ping our TFTP server to assure that we have connectivity before we do our copy and we do there and so now we're going to copy TFTP boot flash it's going to ask us for the IP address of the TFTP server. That's my PC. And then we're going to paste our file name that we copied earlier there. And we're going to copy that down. And that will end up in our boot flash. And you see here the TFTP program I'm using is the 3C daemon. See the link below if you want to download this little program. It's an old one from 3Com, but it works really well it is freeware okay so now that file has copied over and if we do another DIR 
we can now see that that file firmware upgrade 15.1 is in the boot flash so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the uh, md5 hash off of that file uh, because we want to make sure that this file is correct and there's our hash so we'll take that hash and then we'll compare it to the actual file I use this little program uh, to calculate MD hashes. Uh, this little program is called MD5 Calculator. It's by the bullzip.com people. So now we'll paste our hash code in here and we'll see that it says that it is equal. That's good. That means the files are the same. See, it goes not equal if I delete a character there. We'll exit that. Now we'll go ahead and do a reload and we can save the configure whatever we don't care. So we'll go ahead and let this uh, reload here, reboot here and then we're going to break out of it and go into ROM mod so that we can execute that firmware upgrade. So now it's restarting. We're going to let it go through that and that and then we're going to hit control c right here and break this out and go to rom mod and so now we can just do a dir boot flash colon and we see our files there so now we really just want to boot that file and then it's going to actually run a program so we'll do a boot boot flash colon and then we'll copy that file and paste it in there and now it's going to actually run through the upgrade process and it's just going to do a whole bunch of stuff here and then it's going to reboot itself now we see it's resetting the system and it's going to reboot uh, the router again here and then it should load uh, the latest uh, iOS no problem because that boot bar is still set to 3.8 version it comes through we're not going to stop the ROM run this time we're not going to hit control C we're just going to let it boot and then we'll see that it starts loading up the correct image you see there is the 3.08 and it's loading the image that's really all there is to you to update in your ROM run if you get in a situation where you can't uh, boot your file any you can't boot up anymore because your ROM mom was too old when you upgraded your iOS or if you want to preempt you know if you just want to upgrade it to keep it on the latest and greatest this is how you do it alright I'll talk to y'all later this is Tom with Tom Cisco Labs